Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how I make GIF images using Photoshop CS. It's very simple. This is just the standard way that I make GIFs. So we're going to just get started. So first you're going to go to File, then you're going to go down to Import, and then you're going to go to Video Frames to Layers. Then you're going to pick a video clip that you want to turn into a GIF. So after you select the clip, I'm going to select select ranged only and I'm going to click limit to every and I'm going to change that to six now here you can trim this video down some more if you have a part at the beginning or the end that is not what you want to be want to be a part of the GIF so I'm going to do that now so how I'm going to do that I'm going to just scroll to where I want the GIF to start and then we want to move this little thing here to that to match it then we want to I'm just going to cut a huge chunk of it for the purposes of this video because I don't want the GIF to be really long. I'm going to move this side here and now you can watch it. You can push this and they look like this. Okay, then you're going to click OK when you're satisfied with what you've trimmed, if you've trimmed anything. And then it's going to open up here where it says Timeline I'm going to scroll over to see how many frames I have. I have 38 frames, which is small enough. You don't want too many frames. You don't want the GIF to be really huge, so then you won't be able to upload it anywhere. So, um, I'm fine with this. I trimmed out the part that I did not want in the video already. So, next, I am going to resize this because it is too big. So we're going to go to image, image size, and I'm going to reduce it down to 200. So it will look a little more clear and be a decent size for forums or uh, Tumblr. Also, the next thing I want to do, I want to change the frame delay. So here it says 0 0.03, and I want all of them to go... 0.1 seconds so I'm gonna put it at 0.1 so the way that you select all of the frames you're going to click the first frame we're gonna scroll over to the end you're gonna click shift on your keyboard and while you're pressing down shift you're gonna click the last frame and then it will select all of the frames from 1 to 38 or however many frames you have then we're gonna go here we're going to click 0 0.1. You can play around with this and select whatever you want. I'm just going to pick this because I want it to go kind of fast. And then I'm going to click this button here, which is play, so we can see how fast it's going. Okay. And right here, you want to make sure it's clicked at forever because you want it to continue to loop forever. So now I'm going to watermark this GIF. I was going to put this in another video, but I might as well just put it in this one. So if you wanted to add a, a already made logo, which will be saved as a PNG, or if you wanted to type in text to your GIF so nobody will steal it, I'm going to show you how to do that now. So, first I'm going to show you how to do a text, just regular text in a GIF. So, when you're going to go over here to layers, and you want to make sure that you select layer the last layer in this tutorial would be layer 38 now you want to select layer the last layer as opposed to layer one which would be way down here because you want the text to overlay over all 38 layers or however many layers you have so you want the text layer to be above layer 38 you make sure you have your text um, button clicked or whatever and I'm just gonna type in 
my Instagram. Okay. You pick whatever font you want. Okay. Then you want to click to make sure that that text is in every frame, which it is. Now you can stop here, but if you want your text to look a little more clean, and by that I just mean a little more polished, and you want to put a border around your text, all you do, you're going to go here, you're going to go to the FX button, and you're going to click Stroke. <clears throat> Then I'm going to set it at 2 because I think it looks better at 2. You want to click OK. And you want to make sure that your um, settings are selected as such. You can pause that and make sure yours are if you're using Photoshop CS6. Click OK. Now, at first, only the first frame is going to have the border around it, as you see. So you want to make sure that border is on every layer of text and all you're going to do to make that happen is very simple. You are going to go over to layers over here on the side. You're going to click the, the eye in front of the word stroke. You're going to click it once. Then you're going to click it again to make sure it reappears. And the border should be around every uh, single text layer on each layer like so. So that is how you would put a bordered text onto your GIFs. Now, if you wanted to put a picture on your, or a logo on your um, GIF, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So you are going to open your logo and I'm gonna resize it. So we're going to resize it to 150. You're going to go to select and click all. And then you're going to go to edit and then copy. Then you're going to switch back to your GIF. And you are going to make sure that all of your layers down here are selected. So you're going to Click the first layer, you're going to scroll over, you're going to press shift on your keyboard, then you're going to click the last layer, and that's going to select all of your frames. So then you're going to go back to edit, you're going to go to paste, and you want to make sure you uh, click your move tool so you can move the text. Okay. And you're going to position your uh, logo wherever you want it on the GIF. I'm just going to put it right here. And then you're going to play. And there you go. And that is how you would create a GIF with a watermark on it, whether it be a logo, picture, or text. Okay? Let's stop. So now we're going to save this. I'm going to go to File. You're going to go to save at, no, you're going to go to save for web, my bad. <clears throat> and this will show you how the GIF is going to look, you know, in a browser or whatever. Um, so you want to make sure your settings look like this. You don't really have to touch anything. Okay. Um, the size of the GIF is really good, which is 641 kilobytes. I'm going to go to play so we can see how it looks. Okay. And if you're happy with how it looks, you're going to go to save. You're going to name it whatever. And that's it. Then we're going to see how it looks in the browser. And I'm using Windows 10 now. So let's see if it pops up. Okay. And there you go. That is how your GIF should look when you upload it to the internet. It might go a little faster once it gets into like a, a web server, but 
you know, whatever. It all depends on your computer and everything like that and the processor and things like that. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. This is how I create animated pictures slash GIFs for the Internet. Um, I do have a page, beardygifs.tumblr.com, where I have created tons of GIFs um, over time. So you can go there and see my GIFs. It should be linked at the end of this video. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Um, please subscribe to this channel for more uh, videos of this nature, graphic design, technical, beauty, whatever. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.